pandemic. So Himson asks, if you had a moment going back to the shield where you realized uh, that it was going, the impact that it was going to have, did you have a moment when you realized, oh, this is going to change the landscape of television? Well, I don't know about to change the landscape of television. What was glorious about the shield <laughs> is that we were able to sort of work anonymously uh, before our work was judged at all. So we had made the pilot. We filmed four episodes, or was it two episodes? We filmed, I guess, two episodes before um, the Christmas break in 2001, and then immediately started filming in January. Um, and uh, we weren't going to premiere until March of 2002. But Diane Wirtz, who was a reporter, a TV critic, I think for Newsday maybe at that time. I might have the, the publication wrong, but it was definitely Diane Wirtz. She was the president of the Television um, Critics Association that year. And we were doing, sometime I think in late January, we were doing the TCAs, they call them, where you sort of present your show to the critics and you, you know, get on a stage and they ask you questions and everything. And the night before that, they had closed circuit TV in the hotel where they essentially streamed The Shield for any critics that wanted to watch. And right before the TCA, or either right after, I forget which, which, you know, usually critics will withhold their reviews until like the week before your show premieres. And Diane Wirtz, for whatever reason, chose to write a review in January of a show that wasn't premiering until March. And she was very effusive in her praise. And we felt like we were making something really good, but was in this vacuum. And how yeah. do you know for sure? And is it just that we're working on it that we think it's good and are we mistaken? And she wrote some really glowing things based on the pilot that she'd seen. Um, and, and that sort of shook things like an earthquake uh, at the FX offices. And I also think it set the tone because she was in this leadership position that year at the TCA, the fact she had written this, I think set the tone, A, that these critics should not ignore this little thing that was on FX. And I think they were preconditioned to not uh, hold biases against it for being on FX. And so suddenly that first review was like, oh my God, like we may get some attention and like she's, I can't remember any of the specifics about the review, but I remember it was a pretty great glowing review. Um, and then, you know, in the week leading up, the reviews started piling in. Now, interestingly, <laughs> in the category of, you know, you forget all the good reviews and you only remember the bad ones. It's not like we had bad reviews, but there were only two publications I subscribed to at that time. One was the Los Angeles Times and the other was Entertainment Weekly. And Entertainment Weekly gave us either like a B minus or a C plus for the pilot. And Los Angeles Times didn't review it at all. I found out later that the TV critic was very conflicted about the in your face nature of the show. And I think he understood that there was some really good stuff there, but I think he was uncomfortable with the material and uncomfortable with are we really going to put this kind of material on Everest TV? And I think he chose not to do a review. So like all these reviews from other parts of the country were coming in that were very flattering. And then Entertainment Weekly, which came in my mailbox each week, was very meh. <laughs> and 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 then the Los Angeles Times just wouldn't talk about it at all. <laughs> and so, um, so our bag average was very high, but the ones that sort of mattered to me were not giving us praise. But to answer your question, like, the, the critics, once they saw and started talking about it, I realized, I didn't know if people would watch it, but I thought that we had achieved everything that was in our power to achieve, that we had made something that was really good, I guess. And so then it aired that Tuesday in, in March, and, um, you know, and the ratings came in the next day, and they weren't big ratings by network standards, but they were very big ratings by basic cable standards, and I realized that my life had changed. Thanks for checking out Pandemic, brought to you by Roadmap Writers and Notes for Execs. I'm Joel Silberman, and if you're interested in more intimate interviews with writers on writing, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and share. Thanks very much, and stay safe.